This one's gonna be interesting. All of my previous sketchbook tours have been more polished kind of painterly sketchbooks and now it's time to show you the messy sketchbook. This is the one where I do all of my thumbnails and ideation sketches and get out all of the really um, kind of ugly crappy art. So without further ado, let's get into it. Fair warning, I have not actually looked through this <laughs> anytime recently, so this is gonna be as much of a surprise for me as it is for you. So first up, we've got some skull studies. I think these were from about two years ago, maybe? One year, two years, I don't know. It all kind of runs together. Also, none of this sketchbook is gonna be chronological, so please bear that in mind. Here we've got lots of little faces, different facial expressions. Um, as you can see, none of these are in <laughs> any kind of the same style. In my last video, I talked a little bit about how I'm self-conscious about not really having a consistent art style, especially when it comes to drawing characters, and you're definitely going to see a lot of that in this sketchbook. And we've got more faces. Over here, we've got a little quick Chris Hong study. You're gonna see a lot of those in the sketchbook too. <laughs> I think here I was playing around a lot more with um, shape language and really trying to exaggerate different facial features. Over here, we've got some Bobbles sketches. I think here he's like setting up a little bread stand at the market. We've got a little sign for him. I love Bobbles, he's my favorite. Here we've got some really messy designs for a music festival that I designed t-shirts for. We've got some very quick gesture sketches, some very wonky anatomy. <laughs> I think this one might have been a Norman Rockwell study or possibly a Line Decker study, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> and here we've got <laughs> sketches. In case you haven't noticed, I particularly enjoy drawing girls. You're not gonna see very many guys in this sketchbook. These are all just notes from a schoolism workshop that I took. More notes from the schoolism workshop. These ones are some notes and sketches from a cynics class here on YouTube about how to draw the digits. I actually kind of like this sketch. I like how the shoes turned out. Not so much this one or this one. <laughs> if you only take away one thing from the sketchbook tour, let it be that not every sketch is gonna be a winner. So these sketches are from, I think, about two years ago, and most of these ones are around two-ish months ago. This one kind of holds a special place for me. It was the first one that I'd drawn after a pretty hard Christmas last year, but it was really nice to just kind of get back into it with a little cozy tea time sketch. They got their little bunny slippers. Sitting on the floor. These are some sketches I did for the animal theme that I did recently. Some really, really messy, unclear thumbnails a very wonky giraffe. I quickly learned that giraffes have much larger skulls than that. Oh, this is a sketch I did for a marker illustration I did a few years ago. More giraffes, a little dog study, a little owl. I actually like how this one turned out. I think this one might actually be a study of a, of a photo I found on Pinterest, but I'm not quite sure on that. Some very, very ugly, messy pin sketches. This one's a study from one of Loish's illustrations. I think this was a pose that I found on Pinterest. Um, just trying to figure out the figure. <laughs> trying to exaggerate more of the features and such. Some more bits and bobbles sketches. I think this was the start of the picnic prep sticker sheet. Oh look, more bits and bobbles. We've got a little pizza party, some little mailboxes, um, bits arranging some flowers. Some notes on the Marikee Meadow. Very quick gesture sketches. Oh my. Those are some wildly wonky arms. I think I had an ink splash there. Definitely quite stiff and <laughs> not fantastic, but you know, practice is practice. Some more gesture sketches. So here we get into a few more studies. There's a little Norman Rockwell study. Um, this one's a line decker study. This one's a line decker study. I really, really love how this one turned out. This is one of my favorite illustrations of his. 
I think most of these ones are pretty recent. I know this one definitely was. You're definitely gonna see a lot more bare feet in the in the more recent sketches. I've been loving drawing toes. I don't know, man. Feet used to be one of my pet peeves to sketch, but anymore, they're actually really fun. There's so many bones and curves, and it's just, I don't know, it's really interesting. More gesture sketches, some figure drawings. I don't think these ones turned out too bad. The legs were definitely, uh, not quite proportional, but you know, it's okay. Also, I do apologize for the not fully finished sketchbook. There's definitely some pages that did not get the full treatment. Oh my, that's a lot of faces. I think these were all marker sketches. We've got a Chris Hong study, a Deanna Marsiglier? Marsigliettes? I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce her name. Anyways, it's a study from one of her characters. Oh, this was a long time ago. <laughs> Those are some very, very tiny toes. We've got some little fox sketches, a little bits and bubbles treehouse with terrible perspective. <laughs> Over here with some line drills, just doing a lot of mark making and trying to get, get my hand loosened up before doing an ink illustration. Now this was a sketch that I actually really liked. It wasn't fully fleshed out, but I ended up doing I ended up doing an ink illustration of this one. I really loved the idea of the scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz having just fallen over and Dorothy leaning down to help him up. And here I did one of Dorothy and the Cowardly Lion. I really loved the overly exaggerated, puffed out, pouty face. This was one <laughs> that was actually torn out. These were some sketches from the watching in wonder theme. We've got some little thumbnails, some little dragon studies with cardigans, cause you know, why not? Our little hiker and her dog, sleeping dragon. Here we've got some more line drills. And this is one that I did for a trading card swap that I did a couple years ago. The other artist requested like a carousel grim reaper kind of thing. I actually really liked how it turned out with his cotton candy and the balloons and the little skeleton horse. More face sketches and obviously unfinished sketches. <laughs> There's a lot of these where I just gave up like two thirds of the way through it. I have a really hard time coming up with different hairstyles. So there's a lot of bald characters in here. This was kind of the start of the little bandana girl that I've been drawing quite a lot lately. She definitely pops up in several of my illustrations. We've got some sketches for the gelato illustration. Apparently, originally there was a dog here. <laughs> that didn't end up making the cut. Honestly, I think I kind of like this sketch more than the actual <laughs> illustration. A couple more sketches for that illustration. I also had the idea of her having like a little monkey sidekick with her instead of a dog, but it didn't end up making the cut. I'm pretty sure these were some marker sketches of some wooden toys that I found on Instagram. I am obsessed with wooden toys. There's something so cozy and naturey, and I love those vibes. Some little mousy dudes. I actually kind of like the concept of this one, of the little character holding a butterfly. When I was little, I actually used to raise caterpillars. I'd keep them in a little like bug catcher thing. And I'd research every single caterpillar that I caught and learn what kind of food they needed, what kind of butterfly or moth they'd become. It was actually really fun. Um, apparently we've got a little character taken out the trash cause why not? This one's a sketch for a commission I did for one of my friends at Lipscomb University. A couple of little sketches for the, for the food theme I did a couple months ago. Another little bandana girl. I don't know what it is about red polka dot bandanas, but they make me really, really happy. Some more figure sketches. Apparently I didn't like this one. I wrote ew next to it. There's definitely a lot of ews in the sketchbook. I liked this pose. Didn't like this pose. <laughs> I was okay with this pose. Not Nothing super exciting about it, but I did like the pants on this one though. These are some sketches I did for my soups on illustration last year. Another lowish study. I'm not exactly sure which of her sketches this is from. I think I kind of changed some of the clothes and stuff on it. 
And here are some sketches of Dorothy and the Tin Man. I don't know if I ever actually ended up doing an ink illustration of this one though. Here we've got some sketches for my tea house illustration, a few little corgi sketches. For some reason, I decided that Biscuit would be the perfect corgi name. So meet Corgi the Biscuit. I really like this little sketch concept. Obviously there's some issues with arm anatomy here, but I really loved the idea of a little photographer with a monkey sidekick doing the little camera framing thing. Here we've got a line decker study. I think this one, was a Norman Rockwell study, possibly? I'm pretty sure this was the sketch I actually ended up using for the Soup on illustration. I really love the swoop of her arm going up to like put in all the little spices and such in her soup. We got some chopstick hand studies for another illustration I did last year. I'm pretty sure this sketch is from shortly after I had read the first Morrigan Crow book, after she's gotten her Wondrous Society bid card. Here we've got some more monkey sketches. I actually really enjoyed doing these. I loved getting to play around with some hash marks and different monkey poses. Some more sketches of our ballerina. Some sketches for the background of the gelato illustration. Another little corgi. I don't know. I don't know what happened here. I didn't finish it though, so moving on. Here we've got some sketches for my milliner illustration. I'm pretty sure this was the last one I did for my Tom to Town series. And I really wanted to do a lot of different fun patterns, um, quirky socks, cause quirky socks are the best. Bottles, lots and lots of bottles. I'd seen a lot of sketches from Devin L. Kurtz on Instagram. She does lots of different studies of, of like bottles and shoes and all sorts of different things. I think she does like a Google search and draws from some of the references and then tries to come up with some on her own. So that's kind of what I was trying to do here. Also got some little lotus seed pods. These were very confusing to draw, but super fun. Got some more bottles. Um, I think these were more of the wooden toy studies. There was this adorable little toaster and you could see like the curves of the wood grain and stuff. And it, oh my gosh, it was so cute. Some little finger studies and food studies. This was shortly into my foray in the wonderful world of food illustration. I really liked how this little truffle turned out. So here were some sketches <laughs> that never came to life. I'm part of a trading card group on Instagram and we were doing a Ghibli theme and I got lots of little sketches done for it and got busy and never got the chance to actually do the trade, which was unfortunate. But we've got some little soot sprites. Um, we've got the radish spirits feeding the soot sprites, the little like star candy things. I really loved that idea and I kind of want to go back to it now. I don't know, maybe we'll find a time. Lots of faces, woohoo! We've got another Chris Hong study, some more Ghibli sketches. Oh, I lied. Maybe this was the one that I ended up going with for the soup sauce. Yeah, this is the one. Cause this got, has the little toaster and the bread and everything. Here I was trying to practice the kind of tilted to the side, chin slightly turned up kind of face. I don't know, <laughs> it didn't go very well for me. And then a goat, for some reason. Your guess is as good as mine. Here we've got some more tea house sketches, some not great eyes and such. Oh, I forgot what these are called. Dang it, I'll put it up on the screen. But I absolutely love sketching these. They are so much fun. We've got another little sketch that never came to life. A little mermaid waitress um, waiting on a couple of seahorses. I still like this idea and I'm hoping to maybe get around to it one of these days, but you know. But mermaid is already over. Once again, I have missed out on it. Here we go. This was the chocolate bar illustration. Here was the little color comp I did for it. 
But the idea was that, that she's supposed to be stretching, but instead she's stretching to reach into her bag for some chocolate goodies. I loved the idea, not so much the execution of it. It didn't turn out quite how I was hoping it would, but you know, maybe I'll come back to it someday. More sketches. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about some of these. They're just, especially with like all of the faces and such, because there's not really anything super interesting about them. Here is where I was exploring some curiosity jars. For as squeamish as I am about different things, I actually really love bones. I find them absolutely fascinating. So I love all of the jars that have like, that have like the greenery and like skulls or different animal bones um, or mushrooms or like preserved moths. I find that kind of stuff really, really cool. So I'm pretty sure these were sketches from a different sketchbook actually some more Pinterest studies. I still really like this idea. And once again, I'll maybe sometime get back to it. There's so many ideas in here that I just haven't had time to actually paint, but you know, maybe one day. Some more little mermaid sketches. More tea house sketches and corgis. Lots of little corgis, little sleeping corgis. <laughs> Got some little birds. This was an idea I had for an oil painting until I remembered that I am not an oil painter. So needless to say, never got around to painting this one. Here we've got some more bits and bobbles sketches. I guess he's going painting. I'm not exactly sure what he is painting, but you know, leave your guesses down in the comments. We've got bits hauling all of her plants because of course she bought more. Her one character flaw is buying too many plants. <laughs> here she's out in the garden planting some seeds. Um, here are some more sketches from the picnic prep sticker sheet. Originally I wanted them on like a double person bike, but it was gonna be way too long of a sticker. So in the end, Bubbles ended up sitting on the basket. Here we've got some sketches for another trading card commission that I did. I had so much fun with this one. She wanted a little bathroom illustration with kind of a Howl's Moving Castle, super chaotic vibe. There were all these little bubbles and different potion bottles and it was so much fun to do. Some tiger sketches. I think this one was my favorite. Although I did have fun with this one, kind of playing around with the pattern on his face and like trying to make them a little bit more swirly and graphic. Some little bear sketches. We've got like a little spring cleaning sketch. She's up on a ladder and using a little feather duster to, I don't know, dust some books or something. As you can see, I never got around to <laughs> expanding the idea of the sketch. Got some more heads. We've got some little yoga poses. Um, the anatomy is very wonky here. <laughs> I do apologize. Oh, these are cute. Oh, this is gonna make me cry. I don't, I don't remember sketching these. I'm guessing these were inspired by me and my dog, but I don't know when, when these happened. Oh, there's little fireflies. She's got a little firefly on her nose. <laughs> That's so cute. Well, now I want to paint this scene. That's so. That's adorable. Um, I think this one might have been another Chris Hong study. It definitely looks like her stuff. We've got a little character feeding a dolphin, because why not? That can happen in sketchbooks. This one I actually like. I do want to paint this one at some point. There's definitely some anatomy that needs fixing here, but, but I really love the kind of mind-wandering expression while she's toasting her marshmallows. I am curious, if you've made it this far into the video, how do you toast your marshmallows for a s'more? I'm of the mindset that the more burnt, the better. Like, stick the sucker in the fire, let it burn for a few seconds till it's nice and black and crisp. Mm. 
mm, that is definitely the way to eat a marshmallow if you ask me. Got some more figure sketches. Aha, the more music festival sketches. This is one of the ones I actually ended up doing this year. And then I think something kind of similar to this one. We wanted to do like a retro kind of vibe for one of them. And then for the verse t-shirt, I wanted to do kind of a, kind of an Ivan Earl meets JC Leindecker kind of vibe with lots of little dots and shapes and graphic elements. Here we've got some sketches for the for my music illustration. Once again, lots of anatomy issues in here, but and apparently some ukulele anatomy issues, but I really loved how this illustration turned out in the end. Quick little marker doodles. More sketches that I didn't like how they went. Oh look, bits and bubbles. Oh, I like this pose. I think this was a pose that I found on Pinterest but I love the kind of unbalanced arms swinging pose. It was super fun to sketch. Got some more food sketches, some wonky houses, little bits and bobbles turn around. Here we've got some more sketches for the food theme. Some bread studies, some different thumbnails that didn't make the cut. I still like this idea where she's like feeding the dragon a spoon of soup or something. So, you know, maybe one day, maybe we'll have to make a return to the Baker's Apprentice. Got some more quick little marker sketches. I'm pretty sure these were from when I was sick with COVID last year. I had a lot of time to sketch. Some more dragon sketches. Um, little bobbles with a rumbly tummy, and then apparently uh, a kaput bobbles. <laughs> in case you're wondering what I looked like every day in high school after geometry, <laughs> this is it. Ooh, here we've got a little Team Edge study from a Team Edge video. Some notes on potential arctic animals for my wooden animal illustrations more marker sketches, um, little smoothie bowls. I kind of want to do a smoothie bowl sticker sheet at some point with like the little smoothie bowls, but then like all of the little ingredients and such. I don't know. I think, I think that would be fun. There's like a little granola container, a little blender, a little honey. For some reason, I really like drawing like giant noses on bears. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's really cute. Here we've got some Julie De Decine, I think is how you pronounce her last name. Some little studies from some of her illustrations. Um, I think this was one that I sketched. I think maybe both of these were ones that I sketched. I don't remember. I mean, obviously <laughs> I sketched all of these, but some of these were not studies. <laughs> this one was for sure though. This one and these two were for sure though. Another couple of Julie studies. And then here we've got some sketches for my nephew. My friend was doing like a bear theme for his nursery. So I really wanted to do a little, a little stargazing bear illustration. He's got his little belly hanging out, <laughs> so fun. Here we've got some sketches for the Arctic animals theme. I was trying to narrow down which animals I wanted to paint, how exactly I wanted to have them posed. Y'all know I am a huge fan of props and environments, and I was definitely in a prop kick here. <laughs> There's definitely all sorts of things in here. You've got seeds, you've got movie tickets, um, coffee beans, <laughs> carrots, uh, is that a, what is that, a cassette tape? Now this is a sketch I actually really enjoyed. Our little bandana character picking carrots. Some sandwiches, um, empanadas, houses. <laughs> Here we've got some more festival brainstorming. We've got a little witch sketch. She kind of looks like she might have a cold. That's a very red round nose. Haha! <laughs> -ha! Here we've got Little Red Riding Hoodie. I'm pretty sure I ended up making a coloring page for this on, um, Patreon. 
Lots more house sketches. <laughs> oh, I kind of like the little Linzer cookies. Those were cute. Whoa. Okay, that's not fantastic perspective <laughs> of a bike. I don't know how to draw bikes if if you, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> if this were like a looking from the side angle, that bike would be like 10 feet long. <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyways, here we've got some thumbnails for a commission I did. I don't know if I ever actually shared that painting. What if I saw the photos? We've got some little bird sketches, more pen sketches. <sighs> I don't like ugh, most of these. I don't hate this one, but <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yikes. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Uh, here we've got some more yikes sketches. You wrote yuck next to this one. <laughs> I feel like you can definitely tell when I wasn't <laughs> in a sketching mood for a lot of these. Whenever I was having some burnout or art block, it was made evident in the work I was doing. Here we've got that little spring cleaning sketch again. I think my idea was to kind of do like, um, like a dollhouse kind of background where like the rooms just kind of ended <laughs> in an open space. Here we've got some blue birdie studies. Once I started really getting into um, hands and feet, I started studying a lot more of her illustrations. She is such a master at foot and hand anatomy. Cheesy grin sketch. Little bits drinking some coffee from an acorn cap. Here we've got some sketches for my book nook illustration. Some <laughs> terrible pen sketches. Um, this was a sketch I did for another painting in another sketchbook. Cozy content creator typing away on her little keyboard. This one is actually something I still want to paint at some point. Um, I think it's also coming up again soon, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. But I had the idea of a little illustration of Wendy flying over London. Here's a little thumbnail of this sketch. More bits and bobbles. Lots of bits and bobbles. Bobbles brushing his teeth. <laughs> or blowing bubbles. Little bathrobe. <laughs> I always have a ton of fun exploring the little lives of bits and bubbles. Got some more little faces and figures. Little grocery shopping sketch. Here we've got um, some sketches of <laughs> bits and bubbles again. This was another one that I did uh, a little ink and watercolor illustration in another sketchbook. For a lot of the paintings in, um, it usually originated in this one. <laughs> Ha, here's the um, Wendy sketch. Little thumbnails down here with a little um, Big Ben. Um, some of the other <laughs> buildings around Big Ben that I don't know what they are. <laughs> Got some more sketches for the architecture theme before I decided on the tea house. This one I want to paint at some point. I wanted to do a little girl pretending to be Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. She's got like her little stuffed cat with little button eyes. She's got the red bow, um, her little broomstick, the little, um, I think it was supposed to be like, was it supposed to be like a Walkman? Or is it like a little radio? I don't know. Play music. Super cute. We got a Tinkerbell inspired sketch. That didn't go well. A little meditation sketch. We're gonna see a lot more of those coming up here pretty soon. Random person crawling sketch. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> more corgi sketches, um, a little fox sketch. Here was one I actually kind of liked. I liked her little, um, her little smile while she was jogging. We've got some little stuffed animals. They're kind of creepy, but there's something kind of fun about them too. Oh, <laughs> this little zomb bunny. <laughs> get it. I'm hilarious. Ah, this is a little sketch inspired by my adventures at camp during high school. 
on the last night of our camp during senior year, me and my best friend Hannah went stargazing. Lots of little gardening sketches <laughs> throughout here. This is when I started really getting into more of the slow living kind of cottage core vibes. Feeding dolphins again, apparently. I don't know what my obsession is with feeding dolphins, but I don't know, maybe this is some sort of like subconscious dream of mine. Also spilled some coffee here, apparently. I have absolutely no idea what this says. My handwriting, <laughs> if I'm in a hurry, it is illegible. This is one of the few pages in this sketchbook that I was actually like, yes, I like most of these, <laughs> not this one. Um, I don't know, I just like the little characters just doing life things, you know, looking outside while holding some laundry, doing some sewing. I think this one was actually, um, a photo I found on Pinterest. Little girl tending to carrots, um, little dancing figure. I also kind of liked this page. We've got some little bread baker, um, little girl grocery shopping, picking plums, little boy and his dog. <laughs> this one was actually inspired by my dad, actually. He absolutely loves fishing, and he had a little golden retriever best friend named Sunny when he was little. Um, I'm not sure why there's a chunk missing here. <laughs> I don't know if there was a sketch that I hated or if there was a sketch that I needed to transfer somewhere else or I don't know, maybe I was just writing notes. Who knows? But we've got a little jam maker. I actually like that idea still. Maybe I need to get back to that one at some point. We have um, a little writer <laughs> at a cute little kind of vintagey writing desk um struggling to to write a story <laughs> she's got some little crumpled up papers next to the trash bin she's got her little arms folded all angry <laughs> been there little meditation sketch i really like drawing um like if characters are in like sportswear i love drawing their little bellies come out over um like the top of their shorts or their leggings i don't know i think it i think it's really cute lots of plant sketches i think some of these some of these were studies and then a lot of them were just imagination sketches here we've got some more sketches for the watching and wonder theme we've got a little vine decker study um a little line decker inspired sketch <laughs> i think this one was a pose that i found on pinterest but i really loved um the kind of gesture line and her looking out, I don't know, horizon, mountains, whatever she's looking at. <laughs> I also really like this sketch where she's putting on her shoes and she's got her little yoga mat rolled over her shoulder. I also really enjoy sketching characters in um, pajamas. I don't know, there's something really fun about that. I love seeing people cozy. <laughs> Lots of sketches that everyone anywhere. <laughs> oh, some of these are kind of cute. Okay, I like this one. <laughs> I love the little band-aid on her knee. This one was one inspired by me and my sister, a little sisterly love sketch. I kind of like this one. Her face, <laughs> she just looks so done. <laughs> and I find that very relatable. Uh, oh my, that's, yep, that's a face. <laughs> Ew, you, um, another little character kind of just looking done with life. I mean, as you can see, she's not drank most of her coffee yet, so that's understandable. Another little meditative character, some little, like a little dancer, little tambourine player. Here we've got some more reptile studies for um, the dragon illustration. Again, <laughs> the cardigans. I don't know, man. I just, dragons and cardigans is really freaking cute. Here's where I started getting into um, using like washi as a form of collage in my sketchbooks. This one turned out a lot better. The washi tape is a lot wider, so I could kind of angle it to cover all of the sketch. Um, whereas down here I had to use strips of it, but you know, I think it still looks kind of cute. 
I've got another collage sketch. This one was actually a paper that I had to glue on, so there's some little flecks of glue, but <laughs> yeah, they're still there. <laughs> More dragons and cardigans. <laughs> I don't know, man, they're just so stinking cute. <sighs> Anyways, I kind of like this sketch. Um, she has kind of the patchwork skirt, and that was really fun to sketch out. Yeah, this was definitely an off day for me. There's a lot of going over the same lines and just not having a good time. <laughs> Got some little thumbnail sketches and I think these two were Pinterest studies maybe. Um, another little bald character that I didn't put hair on. This one might look a little bit familiar. I uh, went back to this sketch and did the little washi tape collage over the top. We've got a little mini golfer, little yogi doing her thing. Again, I love the little bellies and like the little side rolls. I don't know, I find those really fun to draw. Here's a sketch I did for <laughs> another sketchbook painting um, that I was doing in collaboration with Altenu. These were a couple of quick studies I did from a Turkish show I was watching. I liked this one. <laughs> um, the eyes turned out very creepy in this one, but <laughs> it's okay. More little faces, another line decker study. I did a lot of line decker studies in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Here was the thumbnail for the tree theme. We've got Bits carrying her books, um, some little cottage sketches. More figures, more figures, more faces. Here I was trying to figure out um, kind of the color comp for the tree theme. We've got bits drying some flowers and arranging them. I think all of these were, were little props for Bits's cottage. Here we've got some sketches for the facial expressions theme. Well, some of these are for the facial expression. I think these ones were for the facial expression scene. The rest of these, I don't know. They're, they're just there. <laughs> Got some more figure sketches, some more washi collage. And here is where I was finalizing the facial expression scene. Doing the little thumbnails, figuring out what angle I wanted our camera to be in comparison to the character. All of that nitty gritty fun stuff. <laughs> More washi collage. I loved these pants and the little hair bow. I thought those were super, super cute. More faces and poses. I'm sure you're probably tired of hearing me say that, but that's what these are, so. And we have arrived at the last page. We've got a little character with her groceries, a little girl with some flowers and flowers popping out of her overalls and some more cottage sketches for bits and bobbles. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed flipping through my sketchbook with me and seeing all of the good, the bad, and the very, very bad. <laughs> Huge thank you to my patrons over on Patreon for helping to support my art journey. You guys are fan freaking tastic Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys!